right? I ain't picking him up. That boy, that's the one. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Hey, that's my boy right there. He doesn't let me really go anywhere without him, man. It's crazy. He'll try to follow me everywhere. Hell yeah. How you doing? You know what? I was thinking about you last night. He was in bad shape. Like My neighbor found him. And they wanted to do some shit like co-own him because they were animal lovers too. And they're like, well, you guys can keep him half of the time and we'll keep him half of the time. I'm like, you know what? I was honest. I said, if I have him over here for a certain amount of time, like I'm going to grow attached to him, you know? And they already had three dogs, so I'm like, I'll take him. And so they just let me keep him in. Man, he, yeah, most loyal animal I've ever owned. Crazy. What's happening to now? Zero. What's going on? Hey, you know what? <laughs> You guys see, listen, this is the thing. I'm not trying to play no strings, right, on anyone, really. I swear to God. But my first job, right, my first job, I volunteered before they hired me. Volunteered before they fucking hired me at the Humane Society. It's on everything. On my application, I put, I want to be in the trenches. I want to be in the kennels. I'll clean up after them. I have no problem with that at all. Man, I'm telling you. Love being back there with them. Shit. That was my perfect, that was my, my dream job. Hey, it is fucked up because where I work, it wasn't a non-kill, you know? Shelter, they, they had to put a lot of them down. Suck, man. Did. Hey, but trip. If I ever have to choose like a career, career, I would, I would want to run an animal shelter or humane society. I swear to God. I mean, I worked with all the animals there: turtles, cows, animals that were taken as fucking property or evidence in court cases. Like some crazy shit came through there. Really. I've seen some crazy animals, bro. And it's fucking, it's bomb. Hey, you know what? That fucker did have a big mouth. He was a, one of them huge tortoises, like big. He would crawl up the fucking fence when he was trying to feed him. Huh? She used to come see me on my work break. You know what I would do? There was a pond out there too, right? So I would call her on my lunch break and have her bring something to eat. And we would chill right there at work by the pond where feed the turtles, ducks. Hey, man, it was a bomb-ass job. I've never been bit, ever. I didn't have to go to the hospital once. Because every time even someone gets scratched over there, man, it costs the company, like, it costs them money. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen these motherfuckers get bit by a mouse, and they got to go to the fucking emergency room for that shit. And get a tetanus, whatever shot. Hell no. You got me fucked up. 
If I get scratched by a motherfucking a mouse, I'm not going to tell you about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Guess, what's up? Hey, a strip club? That would be a hard place to work at, right? Be real. That would be a hard place to work at. As a man, come on, man. You be getting it. Man. Guest! <laughs> hey, you remember this shit? Anyone know what album I'm listening to right now? Hey, Biggie was a fool. Mike, that's right. Yeah. That. <laughs> hey, the Beastie Boys are fucking awesome. My wife loves the Beastie Boys. You know what? Me and my wife have different tastes in music, right? She loves punk rock. She always has. Like all the way back to the Ramones. All the way up to no effects and and different different bands that stand out to her like authority zero and shit not no green day fucking commercial no Big pun? Big pun? Man, big pun. It just wasn't my type of music, you know? And I can listen to East Coast, but just not my style. You and your wife are like Donnie and Marie? Aren't they brother and sister? <laughs> Silver Bell! What's going on, Silver? This motherfucker right here, Method Man? One of my favorite East Coast artists. That motherfucker. Oh, is he? Fuck yeah, he did. That? Method Man, listen. He's talented. He can act. He can rap. Smart you know what I'm sure I have but most likely um, unknowingly you know hey zero he was he was the best in that group bro shit I never like fucking RZA or, or, or Ghostface Killer. ODB was all right. Who's all right? Hey, you know what though? He started going pop. The majority of them will at some point. Hey, 